Hey everybody, certainly glad you could join me today. In this video, we are going to create a draggable notification window. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon. That really helps me out. And of course, an even bigger thank you to all of my patrons and members. Your names will be running across the bottom of the screen at the end of the video. So let's jump right into this then. All I've done so far is I've created a new project and I have changed the scene to a custom image that I have added to the image folder. So the first thing we need to do is create a new file, which I have done inside the game directory called notificationscreen.rpy. And this is where we're going to define our notification screen. So the first thing we want to do is actually create our screen like that. So we're having a screen and then we're going to call this tip screen like so. And we're going to put brackets like that. And now in this, we need to put a parameter because we're actually going to tell Rempi what to put in this screen dynamically rather than having it fixed. So the next thing we need to do is where we define our drag. And because all we want to do is create a really simple draggable window, we don't need to do too much funny stuff. All we have to do is create our drag like so. I want it to appear at the center of the screen. So I'm going to say X align 0.5 and I'm going to say Y align 0.5 like so. And we also need to cr create a name for this. So we're going to say drag underscore name. And we're going to just call this the tip screen. So we're just going to add a space in there for being tidy. And we're just going to call this tip. Now we could add a lot of other parameters to this to define its size and other stuff. But we don't really need to because what happens when you create a drag is just like any other container it will scale to the size of whatever is contained within it. And since we're gonna put a frame inside this draggable, that will contain all of the information we need for background images and so on. So all we need to do now is we need to define our drag handle. And this is the area inside of the draggable which is clickable in order for you to be able to drag it. And this will take either pixel values or percentage values tuples. So I'm actually going to say 0, 0, which is the top left hand corner. And then I'm going to say 1.0, 1.0, which is the bottom right hand corner. And that's all we need to do to actually instantiate or to initiate the draggable. Now we need to actually put some stuff in there. So we're going to create a frame like so. And I'm actually going to set the X minimum. I'm going to remember how to spell X minimum. And we're going to set that to 600 pixels. That actually needs to be maximum, silly me. There we go. And then Y max, we don't need to set because we want it to scale vertically with whatever is put inside it. Now we want to give it some padding. So I'm going to say X padding 30. And I'm also going to say Y padding 30 like that. And that just means that anything we put inside this window is going to be 30 pixels from the top, left, bottom and right. And I'm probably going to set a, uh, no, actually, do you know what? We're going to leave that. We're going to say now has a V box. So that's just telling Rempi that the frame has a V box inside it. And I'm going to give it a label and we're just going to call this the hint. And we're going to say X minimum 400. And that just means that the window is going to appear at a reasonable size. And then we just put text tip in there. And what this is doing is this is referencing the variable that has been put in here. And this is exclusive to this screen. If we were to try to access this variable from outside the screen, it wouldn't appear. So we're just making sure that whatever we put in the brackets when we call this screen is going to appear as text in there. And the last thing we need to do is create a text button like so. And then we can just put exit in there. And then the action is simply going to be to return when we remember how to spell return like that. So that's literally all we need for that screen. So what we need to do now is actually call it. So I'm going to come here. We've added our background screen. So now all I'm going to do is say call screen tip screen, making sure that we spelled it correctly. And we can do that by simply double clicking there. Control C and Control V there. 
and then we just need to put some information in this text string so all i'm going to do is i'm going to type this is a draggable window then we're going to put backslash n for a new line and we're going to say click anywhere and we're going to spell anywhere correctly cool happy days and that should be all there is to it so as you can see when we run the project we've got our window it's got our title there it's got the information in it and when we click and drag anywhere on the window we can move it around the screen and then all we have to do is hit the exit link and it will carry on with whatever follows it in the script i hope you found that useful guys let me know what you think in the comments below if you've got any, anything you want me to cover particularly, feel free to let me know that as well. The worst case scenario is I don't do it. Smash like, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.